games. Also, be nice. I just found out that adult fun time is more than just hand holding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ew, gross. <laughs> What's up, my birds and weirdos? One topic here, and today we're diving into Ace Memes. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Me walking out of a brothel. Ah, ing bullshit. My wife. Well, what did you think a brothel was? Me looking sadly at the empty bowl I brought. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I love this post. I love that your wife went with you. She's so supportive. <laughs> There's no way she didn't know ahead of time. It was like, oh, okay. Hey, girl. <laughs> you want some good naughty time? No. <laughs> then you came to the right guy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that. That pickup line would work on me. <laughs> Who are you? Kissing at midnight. My cat's little forehead, bro. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, don't make me feel things. What's wrong with you? Don't make me feel stuff. <laughs> oh, you want to be adult excited? The thing that killed Romeo and Juliet? Huh? Well, do you? Irresponsible. <laughs> Why do people like feet? I'm not king shaming. I'm just wondering what about feet makes them so attractive to some people. That must be something from the US. Here in Europe, we're more into meters. <sighs> Why can't a nose be 12 inches? Because then it would be a foot. NBC News poll. Americans' fears of war grow. <laughs> Tell me that doesn't look like a squirrel, Ming. You. <laughs> <laughs> You're an adult now. Pick three. Full time job. A consistent workout schedule. An adult fun time life. A will to live. A fridge with actual food in it. One large coffee. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> oh no. You'd be surprised how fulfilling of a life you can lead without that fourth option. <laughs> okay. All right. Pin down. Which one of the three? Which three of the? Th which three of the many would you choose? <laughs> you obtained pink petal. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. I get it. It's a. It's a. I gotcha. Pink petal. Like a flower. Oh yeah, you see up here? It's smoking flowers. Oh wait, no, wait, hang on. <laughs> okay, well now I'm confused again. <laughs> I thought it was like a like a vagina joke, but what? <laughs> hey guys! Why are sex repulsed aces so chill? Because they have zero f**ks to give. Look upon my field of f**ks. <laughs> and tremble, for it is barren. <laughs> Imagine texting me. What that mouth do? And I say, come find out. And now it's 2 a.m. and you're sitting on the edge of my bed listening to me play the harmonica. <laughs> Queer platonic is whatever those three middle-aged men from Ice Age had, by the way. I hope you understand now. That is such a good comparison. Oh my god. Actually, looking back, I'm really surprised the Ice Age wasn't, like, boycotted. Oh my god, so many gay themes in this! Men getting along with parental responsibilities? The swapping of traditional gender norms? What? <laughs> I'm gonna ask four separate girls on dates at the same place at the same time. And when they arrive and realize what has happened, I'm gonna come out and try to talk them into playing Dungeons and Dragons. Hey, ladies. Do you, like... Role playing. <laughs> it reminds me of there's this old video I used to watch as a kid. I'm pretty sure I have the whole intro memorized. Hang on, let's see if I can find it for all of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here it is. <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons, Satan's game. Your children, like it or not, are attracted in their weaker years to the occult, and a game like D and D fuels their imagination and makes them feel special while drawing them deeper into the bowels of El Diablo. <laughs> Anyone who's seen the full version, you know what I'm talking about. There's at least like 
four aces at that table. <laughs> Perfect. Type, I'm bisexual, which means I'm attracted to, and let predictive text finish the sentence. <laughs> I'm bisexual, which means I'm attracted to people that don't want anything to do with me because I'm a dumb ass. Ah, oh, boo. <laughs> I love these though. Hang on a second. I'm bisexual. Which means I'm attracted to <laughs> you, but I'm also not a lesbian. <laughs> I needed that. Turtley, radio free dairy. Okay. Procreate free brushes. Oh, I love Procreate. I pretty much got an iPad just so I could work with Procreate. So many of the different thumbnails that I have are just me working on Procreate, trying to fix and fiddle with different things for hours. Glue brush pack. Sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not as enthused as I would be, but all right. Oh yeah. The glue brush. The brush made specifically to help me draw glue for all the glue I plan on drawing. That glue brush. They're using it for what? Yeah, sandwiches and desserts and stuff. It kind of looks like ice cream too. Maybe snow too? Strudels. I don't know. That's pretty cool. I got to check it out. That's awesome. But sex is what makes us human. Then why does every nature documentary I watch talk about animals being overcome with the urge to mate? <laughs> Even cuttlefish ain't safe. Cuttlefish. They all fight for the right to mate and end up injured with scars just to mate. <laughs> A guy wrote to me on Tinder calling me quite the catch because I like nachos and it's always sunny. So I wrote back saying, well, if you're impressed by that, you should see my boobs. And he unmatched me. I literally have no idea what men want. Well, clearly. <laughs> it's such a good move. <laughs> I have so much respect for that. He clearly wanted to talk about nachos and it's always sunny. Instead, you switch the conversation to something purely surface level deep. So it's just a fellow who knows what he wants, which is nachos and it's always sunny. <laughs> as a kid asking for a puppy. My mom saying no. My mom asking for grandchildren. <laughs> Me saying no. Oh, I really want to play the new Pokemon game. It looks like fun. Don't know how you ported in this Digimon looking guy named Harold. This image from a Catholic trad blog is about to send me into orbit. Prawn is cringe. <laughs> One of the best pleasures in life is to read a book in total silence. You're telling me a gar licked this bread? A North American freshwater fish of the family Lepisostidae. A helpful visual. <laughs> Uh, y'all need to stop. <laughs> Her. What them fingers do? Me. Dun 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 dun. Japanese schools ban ponytails, fearing they might ah uh, excite men. Japanese schools ban ponytails, adding the list of draconian rules. I uh huh. Ah, if there was ever any group of individuals I worried more about having taken the film Avatar too seriously, it's whoever put these rules in place. <laughs> Fract. Belle did not know the beast could turn into a human. She was fully prepared to bang him as is. Ah, I think she was just chill with the library, right? <laughs> that was the big attraction, I think, was... All the books and things. I can't imagine anything more ace, honestly. <laughs> Enough about adult positions. Has anyone discovered a reading position which doesn't get uncomfortable after five minutes? Nope. Hey, got some sexy dice. And this was the first roll. With clothes on, eat. With clothes on. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. My arrow ace butt. Hanging out with my guy friend. Me. <gasps> wow, this place looks really romantic. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Oh, God, no! Aloes! My argument that the hair in Avatar is not inherently sexual in nature, but instead about emotional connection. I mean, yeah, you're not... <laughs> you're not wrong. It was more like a way to connect minds as you're doing things when you have, like, a common goal. Like, when you're looking at a tree and you have a common goal with the tree or something. I, I, I haven't watched it in a long time. <laughs> or like when you want to uh fly and the thing you're attaching to is flying that it's like, ah, uh, symbiosis or something. It's, it's fine. It's something. Okay. They weren't, ah, uh, I don't even, ah. we're moving on. I could write 20 pages against exclusionist arguments, but nothing I could say would be as efficient as this. This sexual minority isn't part of the sexual minority group. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep. 
<laughs> hmm. Yoink! Abby, 19. I want to sleep with you. I don't mean have adult fun time. I mean sleep together under my blankets with my hand on your chest and your arm around me. No talking, just the muffled cries as you slowly let seep away from your blood gurgling mouth as I say, oh God, and sacrifice your worthless life to the dark overlord. Abby, no! <laughs> God dang it. Well, if a succubus is advertising themselves like so clearly, it's kind of, it's your fault if you fall into this, okay? And we'd be like, what? You agreed. You swiped right. That's the contract. Like, it's on you, fella. You should have read the terms of... <laughs> Milady, you desired my sea men. So let me present them to you. Uh... <laughs> P. Isa. Orn. No! Yennefer? No, no, no. Tossing a coin? Oh, yeah. There are two kinds of people in this world. Those who suck together and those who suck alone. <sighs> Cute and clever. Asexual reproduction. We got a starfish. Oh, no, the starfish. Oh, oh. Boom! Two starfish. <laughs> uh, hello! Yeah. Pull the sword from the stone and become the new king! Are there any other jobs available? Get the cat out of the tree and become the new librarian! Aww. Aww. <laughs> or, oh, pull the sword and chop down the tree! Best of both worlds. <laughs> Coming of age movies need to be less horny. Ah, uh, excited. Uh, <laughs> when I was a teenager, all I thought about was my pet moths and illegally downloading music and how cool subways are. When I tell people I dreamt about you or I dreamt about so-and-so, they always assume we did something or romantic? And it's like, no, we went on an amazing adventure fighting against a mighty demon. What are you talking about? I asked my Tinder date if he wanted to Netflix and chill and now he puts this on WTF? Hey, okay. <laughs> okay. He might not be ready for that. <laughs> he just wants to hang out. Come on now. What do you call a genderless asexual skeleton? Non-bonary. Fair enough. <laughs> the Danish have started their attacks against the aces. In Denmark, if you are unmarried at 25, you'll get cinnamon thrown all over you on your birthday. It's not even, it's not even untrue. It is so true. That is scary. Do you remember when people were trying the cinnamon challenge with like a teaspoon? <laughs> this is so much more. I, hmm, this is very concerning. Denmark. <laughs> if you could shapeshift, don't even deny that you would shapeshift into a subtly hotter version of yourself over time. <laughs> um, no, I'd be a dragon. Whoever wrote that first comment clearly has never read the Animorphs books because when literally anything in the universe is your option, why would you just be like, I'm gonna fix my bangs. <laughs> no, I wanna be an elephant in inconvenient times. I wanna be a horde bashir. Think, think. Think, yeah, let's take down those Zerg. It's up to you to break generational trauma. Stupid, you're not good enough. I don't want kids. <laughs> Get wrecked, <red>, Grandpa. <laughs> Just got sent a picture. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> uh, ah, okay. Doing the LA Times crossword puzzle and spotted this little bit of representation for y'all. Five down, the A for LGBTQIA plus for short. Ace, oh, So many grandparents are gonna be learning. That's awesome. <laughs> a photographer took a picture before and after giving this woman a sword. Really? This woman? It's Lucy Lawless. And you will bow to your queen. <laughs> sure, adult fun time is great, but have you considered the ding when you complete a task in Power Wash Simulator? No! Hmm, <laughs> sorry. Um, no. No! As someone who used to do power washing, as mind-numbing as that job can be, I, I can't find any relaxation at all in playing the game. I've seen people play it, it drives me up the wall. It only reminds me of, ah, a terrible job. <laughs> These four emojis will determine your Valentine's Day. Crying, head explosion, uh, having conversation, and then, oh. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll, I'll bite. <laughs> oh yeah, I mostly use my phone emojis for titling videos and streams. By the way, drop by my streams. <laughs> um, pineapple, <laughs> a slice of pizza, I've got a boxing glove, and I've got a skull. There is only one thing girls want, and it starts with a P and ends in an S. <laughs> 
<laughs> Potatoes? If the world was filled with asexual people, the human race would go extinct. <laughs> We're immortals! And we don't even need to reproduce. <laughs> don't say just 1% of the population is ace. Say, I'm part of the top 1% of the world. Google faces $5 billion lawsuit over tracking users in incognito mode. The entire male gender. <gasps> Not my One Punch Man! <laughs> no, that I watched episodes of One Punch! <laughs> the government does not need to know how many times I'm Googling which animals glow under a black light. <laughs> Turns out, it's quite a few. I hate to admit this, but our feelings on certain things really do change as we get older. Ten years ago, I would have preferred to get a new video game instead of an engagement ring, but now that I'm older, I would prefer to get a domesticated raccoon instead of an engagement ring. Well, who wouldn't? <laughs> There's few times when I think it's like a really good idea to use just a, a gold band to signify that you've been married. And one of them, there was a guy in Scotland who panned for gold for like a year or longer or something. Just like every weekend would go into the mountains and would like pan for gold and at the end of it forged a ring for his significant other and if that doesn't tell me you're not getting any adult fun time <laughs> and you just value your partner and their emotions above everything else i don't know what else does it's also pretty D, &D. pretty metal <laughs> otherwise just exchange swords like bisexuals of the blade Yo, if you are accepting of asexuals, then you are awesome. Those guys get so much god dang hate. And if you're one to give them hate, then get the f off my account. Why would you hate asexuals? They literally do nothing in the best way. I do a lot, but I don't do people. It's honest work. <laughs> I think one of the big issues asexuals face, especially AMAB individuals, is that what's intrinsically tied into people's perception of masculinity is constantly wanting to own everything but like <laughs> there's so many other ways to express masculinity it's 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 pretty frustrating like you wouldn't think the lumberjack that lives alone in the woods just chopping down trees completely alone no one around that they're any less manly even though they've been in the woods for the last 30 years and totally not getting laid right no that's like so manly chopping down trees and it's cold out there and that's or toughen it out and whatnot, right? I saw a meme recently that I was like men reading through the new terms of service for their masculinity. <laughs> I'm thinking about that a lot more often these days. <laughs> Joking that an adult character who acts childish doesn't know what sex is will never be as funny as saying the same about a big tough murder man video game pro tag. <laughs> Papyrus doesn't know what sex is, is nothing. Solid Snake doesn't know what sex is, is an instant killer. I am fed up with the trolls and ignoramuses who insist on implying that Doom Guy has had sex. In an interview with PC Gamer Magazine UK in 1996, John Carmack said, verbatim, canonically speaking, Doom Guy is a virgin. He has never had sex. Nor do we have any interest in exploring the area in the future. Doom Guy, as far as myself and ID Software are concerned, will always be a virgin who doesn't even know what sex is. Is. To me, it is pretty black and white, and I think it's time for the debate to just die entirely. Nothing but respect for my ace king. It's one of the big reasons why people were so upset about the Halo TV show. As well as the other innumerable flaws, and I am... <laughs> oh, God dang. One opportunity to adapt something that's incredibly popular instead of going the path of like, oh yeah, we'll stay consistent with the thing that's incredibly popular. Like, ah, uh, nope. And who liked it? Not existing fans, not new people to the property, no one. <laughs> they literally could have just taken the video game cutscenes and just played that for an entire season and people would have been like, what a masterclass in television. And that would have been it. That would have been great. But nope, <laughs> nope. Instead, we got that gooey mess. Ew. You know what I mean? It's a pile of goo. <laughs> They're too young to know their ace. Oh no. What's the worst that happens? Someone explores their experiences and finds that they learn more about themselves. They try on a label you don't like. They accept asexuality, even if they're not ace. What's next? Self-discovery? Self-love? No, only be a cog in the machine. Work every day until retirement. Never learn more about yourself. Self-reflection? That's not manly. Get out of here with that woke, soft, liberal nonsense. <laughs> what is the worst that happens if they're wrong? They know more about themselves yeah exactly i uh, people are weird <laughs> why are there so many posts about asexuals being immune to sirens people sirens don't just lure you in with sex fun time necessarily they sing about whatever it is you want most they can sing about the mothman or cinnamon toast crunch and guess what then your asexual pirate is 
fucking dead. This is the only kind of ace discourse I ever want to see on my dash. The only kind ever again. Good job. Do you think the sirens would be grateful that they finally get some variety? Oh my God. We could finally just sing about pasta. Thank the f in gods. I'm not asexual, but I'm fairly certain sirens would do a far better job of luring me into the depths with a song about pasta rather than sex. I mean, what the f Stay away from the rocks! They said they have fettuccine carbonara and hot garlic bread over there! Hang on, bit. This is true. Odysseus heard them promising him knowledge of the future. So the next time you see artworks like this? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Remember those sultry naked chicks are saying? He'll tell you the winning lotto numbers. We have <laughs> unlimited Wi-Fi at incredible speeds. Me! Diving headfirst into the water! This post is a blessing. Congratulations, Odysseus! You've been selected as a winner for the free $1,000 Amazon gift card. Apple iPhone X 256 gigs or Samsung Galaxy. Claim your prize now! Oh my god, Sirens were literally scam websites. God damn it. <laughs> trying to figure out if your ace or arrow can be so much harder than other sexualities because it's like trying to find the absence of something. Imagine you're at a pond and you want to know if there are any turtles or fish. Say you find a turtle and you're like, great, now I know there are turtles. Or a fish, now you know there are fish. Or you find both. And now you know for a fact that there are both turtles and fish in the pond. But like, if you don't find any turtles, it might be that there are no turtles or maybe they're just really terrible at looking for turtles. And maybe you think you saw a turtle over there or maybe Maybe it was just a stick. Maybe there are only a few turtles. Maybe you need to do something special to find the turtles. Maybe a bunch of these rocks are actually turtles, but you couldn't tell them apart. Maybe there are no turtles. You have no idea. Meanwhile, some of the people are saying, Oh, there have to be turtles. You'll find them eventually. Wink. Or, How many turtles have you found in your pond? Or, Try planting some vegetables at the shore to attract the turtles. Or, Oh no, what disaster happened to your pond that there are no turtles? And you're just standing there wet with an empty net and a tired expression but whatever because whether there are turtles or fish or not your pond's ecology works just fine without them because that's what eco communities do they form a system around what they have you aren't missing anything if you don't have turtles you just have a pond system without turtles if someone tried to change you by pouring a bunch of turtles into your pond it would probably f something up so you don't have to be entirely sure you don't have to search every inch of the damn pond before you decide there are probably no turtles if you want to take the arrow or ace label because you think it fits go for it and if you do find your turtles you can rename the pond that's fine also sometimes you really like the turtles in other people's ponds and you love how they bring the place all together but that doesn't mean you want turtles in your pond you just enjoy watching the ones in other people's ponds that's a really good way to put it. I said earlier, it really feels like some people's identities are entirely wrapped up in whether or not they have sex, but it is literally not required. You could be that lumberjack in the woods for 30 years chopping down trees and everybody's gonna think you're a man or a really cool woman <laughs> or anything in between. A witch. <laughs> you literally don't need any turtles in your pond to be cool. All right, my beardos and weirdos, that was our dive into ace, 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 ace sexual memes. I hope you liked today's video. And if you didn't, you, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> don't forget to leave a comment. I don't care. Do what you want. Eh? <laughs> just have a good day. Okay. All right, my beardos and weirdos. We'll see you in the next one where we take it one topic at a time. Roll that outro. All right. Oh, by the way, come to the flippin' streams, okay? Not only do all the streams end with a boop, I also play a lot of games, sometimes with Human One. We've been playing through the forest recently. Come by! Come say hi. All right, come on. Get out of here. I mean, uh, boop. All right. Now, now, get out of here. <laughs> bye!